A level is simple to use, but creating the perfect bubble inside the vial takes a lot of effort. If you have too much fluid, mineral spirit inside the vial body, your bubble's gonna be too small. One thing Johnson Level and Tool wasn't worried about, the bubble bursting. Now the Wisconsin company, like other U.S. manufacturers, is caught up in the escalating trade disputes and tariff hikes between the U.S. and China and other countries. And it's unclear when it will end. And businesses hate, hate uncertainty. This is a classic example of uncertainty. First tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum in June didn't affect Johnson Level, but in July, a second round of tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese imports covered hundreds of items, including all levels and laser levels the company imports. The chief financial officer says they are bracing for a $3.7 million annual hit. It's not going to shut us down, but what it does is it theoretically takes away money that we would want to invest for long-term projects. Analysts say the trade war has hit Wisconsin particularly hard. Even Milwaukee-based Harley-Davidson has promised to move some manufacturing overseas to save money from retaliatory steel tariffs. Manufacturing still plays a central role in the state's economy, and about 16 percent of the workforce is in manufacturing. I'd say the biggest risk right now is not necessarily job loss. Um, not only is our economy uh, fairly strong right now, but most economies abroad, we, we really have a global expansion. I would say what's at risk is actually job creation. For Johnson, options include raising prices on levels sold at big box stores to exploring moving some manufacturing now done in China to another country. It's also applying for exclusions from some tariffs. Despite the hit, the company believes the trade war could eventually spur better trade deals. But when you're going through it, it's very difficult and it's changing lives. Uncertainty that underscores that there are no easy answers when trying to level the international playing field. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.